If I could write now a song about what I think the world needs, I think it'd have to be about the necessity of Rebbe Nachman and the students' prayers and teachings being sung simply, purely, word for word, as to be, think it simply, have to be, but Rebbe Nachman, you and me, about Rebbe Nachman, you and me, and how that since I was a little boy, oh ye, I struggle constantly with every song I heard, what the heck are they saying, about what are these lyrics, and what do they mean, they... Then I got close to the Hasidic lifestyle, thank God, blessed be he, and the fact that all the words were written down was life-changing, and even though I didn't even know the meaning of the words that I read and two was singing, but first off, just the fact that these words were written from front to back and accessible to me while singing out, and second that the lyric book Samir's was always on the table out, and I never had to doubt about forgetting a word out loud, and the fact that these... Songs were sung together in a good crowd, but really it was so much more. It was the fact that these words and these tunes were pure, that they were given from door to door, that they had substance, truth, and meaning, and were really worth fighting for. Words that I know will never bore, and though, and though now I don't know any more than how to pronounce the words, but the meaning to come is worth waiting for, and in fact just the that alone is something to sing, pray, and yearn for. But really, the deaths continue to soar. It's something that's fitting to never get old and bored. Priceless, timeless. That while singing, I can pray for my grandkids to sing and know them even more. God willing, as opposed to music garbage that I need to hide behind closed doors to listen to or bored of. And after one month of hearing it, I just... I just say if I hear just one more and I'm ashamed of myself for the emptiness I subject myself and I'm drawn to and only to find out that the singer wrote this while contemplating some sadness he wanted to do oh, and, I, and ended up ODing or suiciding because that's what his thoughts brought him to feeling meaningless, contemplating madness full of doubts, a purpose and point writing it while I'll avoid the worst drug he was doing is smoking a joint or maybe playing with himself or someone else if you get my point or just hoping for honor, love or vain fame or how to make easy meals without minimal brain with minimal brain, that's if it's not openly just an insane list of the imaginary arrogance and power that's stored in this guy's tiny heart and little brain. I'm so this, and I have so much that of just trying to inflict verbal, pa verbal pain on anyone outside of his lyrical game. Forget about the vulgarity and nivel pet, repeat it again and again, and adorable, whatever good it is. That can be salvaged from all that, let it be sifted out to the finest strain or main. And really all of this doesn't even touch the sur the true surface of my personal pull to this beautiful service of the singing of the Gun and Targ together with my brothers in front of a Rebbe with passion, faith, devotion and purpose with power and strong force high energy and focus, no it's not enough alone, even if no one of the opposite or the opposite exactly, the whole world notices, it's that beautiful conglomeration a cappella coming together getting out of pettiness, jealousy or arrogance self-doubt or self-consciousness but even this, I don't think is enough is it? Rather looking at something even higher, standing and old in front of the Rebbe's exaltedness, desires, and his wish, that esteemed and rever that esteem and reverence, or that esteem and that reverence, suspecting, honoring, loving something bigger than you, for real, that's a bliss. I talk to let me come in contact and hug and kiss all day, things like this, but it doesn't stop there. Has shown in vain or other importance. Oh, has shown false, false ideas cultish or false witness no no rather with god at the head of all of this believing with a passion that expresses in strong negino and with the rabbit to place eyes on like the shechina and to shuckle about to ah ah sweetness but where to get back that's me, miss, the faithful trust and earnestness has come together again in peace after so much machloikis and doubt and confusion, whether vocalized or born in silence, worn in silence. Oh, does it exist? I believe there's a true Rebbe who said what to do now. The true Rebbe that saw what was going on now, his healing before all this sickness. He said, he said now, I know I'm the true leader of this generation, of the generation, and there's no other like me that exists. And he said to constantly search for his face, brain, soul, and ruach that's in his Sephardim, and when we say them over, we kiss the one who said them. So let's, 
So let's look to his face, and like he said, just hold yourself together in oneness. And this, he said, was the song, one, two, four, and Meshulesh, please tell that it all come together, you and the purest, and the purest utmostness, highness, nakuda of the shaloish, the point of the tzaddik, righteousness, the friend's point, and our point of tzidkis, umein, please let this be fruit, fruitfulness, umein, but, but here, it, here it is, Torah of truth, eternal, words of spiritual and factual death, stuff that's worth losing breath, at the end of a long note, in fact, nothing less, the truth that the one real God, Thought it was best for whole generations to yearn and scream over when they're in their highest, best state of Shabbos, holy rest, and the holy and other holiness. Well, that's the lyrical aspect, but also songs without words that make me want to repent or lift my spirits up to want to pass all the tests and to my God sing, thank and bless with every last breath in my chest. And what's more than that, I see it works when we're walking around. We're walking around all ages, singing by heart pages and pages. So now what if this was brought to an even pure level, an even pure level, an even higher, an even higher, more detailed, awesome, vast, deep, yet not too crazy, far off level. Halavai Hashem that every single one of Rabbi Nachman's words and his true students and true students, students until today was sung by everyone, old and young, and every type of song that's in the ten types of song. And halavai that everyone had brung in front of himself all the lyrics, give Yochla Abdul in the language of each each one. That means everyone had all the foreign books to be able to put his eyes looks and sing all along together with everyone plugged in and hooked to yearn to yearn for, want, desire, lust, love, and want, bless over to and with, praise and rejoice as a free gift while simply singing it, getting so deeply, wisely, brainly into it, composing more songs to fit, the mood to conquer all the battles eternally with such strength and holy fear, throw a holy fit to pray me tied with knots that won't slip, give such thanks with love and, and never forget with every breath praise and thank the Lord who has all of this sent to us before the sickness that that is so much of our sad existence simple pure healing ready and wanting to bring us out of every pit to never stumble or be lost again that's it we're fixed all ten types of strength charity wisdom song all ten stripes of types of strength charity wisdom song amen let it be today forever even the song is not the point just to before the fact yearning all by soon let's stop just being dreaming Dovid Melech the king was pushed was punished for calling the awesome sweet Tartus Mirus and Aginim but now we have Rebbe Nachman who is the treasure house of fear of Hashem Oh, the treasure house of fear of Hashem, Hashem, let us be fearing that Rebbe Nachman said if the world would hear one Torah with its dance and Negan the world and all it and all in it would go out from being from close and nefesh Hashem. Let us all dance and sing to Nanach Nachman Chmam Yuman from all our being. Amen. Nanach Nachman Chmam Yuman.